with T Quilts and I'm here to share with you Peggy's quilt. I thought that I had done some video recording of me actually quilting it but I did not. It's called Arcadia Avenue which is a pattern that you can purchase retail and she wanted a quilting pattern that was very simple so I used this popcorn pattern that you can see in this photo that's showing on the screen. And you can see it more so in the background area on this photo. And then on the next photo, you can see where the quilting is going through the pattern. She wanted a quilt design that would not overtake the actual paper piecing that she did in these 12 different hexagon blocks. So I'm going to take you outside next and show you the quilt in its entirety hanging off of my deck. So I'm here just showing you the finished version of Peggy's quilt, the Arcadia Avenue. And just to get a full shot of it for you guys, I will take you up close and let you see what the quilting looks like on the background as well as on the blocks. And I hope I said this somewhere else in the video, but she wanted a simplistic quilting design because she didn't want the quilting to overtake her actual piecing. So that's why we chose the simplistic popcorn panto for this quilting. So let me show you the quilt in the background and then I will also show you some quilting in the blocks. Um, in addition, she also paid for me to do the trimming on her quilt. So that's why her quilt has been trimmed down. So this is how it looks in the blocks and again you can I don't know if the camera will pick up where like sometimes when I was getting close to the centers it wouldn't let me stitch over some of that and you might can see it really good on this block here where I've got the little zag line where it zigged out and then I had to I came back in but some areas when you have puffy quilting you just cannot stitch over all of those center seams so i just want you to see some of the center intersecting sometimes the pattern didn't bother that and other times it was in the way so here it is on just a background piece it's a pretty panto so i am now going to go back up on my deck and I am going to flip this to the wrong side so you can see her backing. So this is Peggy's back. She used one of those, I want to say like ombre backings and she used regular 45 yardage. So in the center, she put the two light sides together so she actually flipped it and sewed it together so that she could get it to reverse on the way out so this is not a one piece backing she actually pieced this di pieced it this way and her quilt is 82 or 83 inches wide and all I had was an inch left on each side um, so what I had her do was put some white spacing strips on the sides so that I would have room to put the quilt on my long arm and then use my stretching tool so that I can make sure that the back was taut so yeah but it worked out but it just barely worked I had about maybe a half inch on one side left and maybe a quarter inch on the other side left so just wanted you to see the backing as well so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to share my channel with your other quilting friends and i will see you in my next video bye bye everybody